Hey foodies, we just made it to Santorini. Look at this beautiful view. Tell me that is not the most beautiful view ever. How's it going foodies? We're here at Nick the Grill in Santorini. Check out some more euros as we work our way up to Greece. These ones, a little bit more reasonable in size, you know, you can get your mouth on this guy opposed to a um, giant ones we've had in Crete. And it's very windy right now, so my stuff's blowing around. But look at that. Again, I like my pork, so to keep it straight, I can go on as much pork gear as I can and, you know, make sure they all uh, are on an equal playing field. Shannon went and grabbed chicken this time. I might take a bite of that just to see. Um, this one's got some lettuce on here, some uh, onions, tomatoes, your typical great stuff, uh, typical Euro stuff. All right, so let's dive in and give this uh, either a try. Let's hold on, let's taste the meat first. A little bit salty, but let's get this all together. Lots of onion. There's a lot of onion on this one. Alright, so it's pretty, it's what it is, it's a euro. Um, nothing too special about this one. Um, the meat's a little salty. Uh, Ziki's okay. Overall, it's not a bad euro. It's decently priced for the prices here in Santorini. I think a combo with fries and a drink is six, six euro, so. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this euro. Um, it's probably one of the better priced ones in Santorini, considering the prices in Santorini are triple what you got on mainland Greece. Give it a try. Hey foodies, it's seven o'clock in the morning in Santorini. We're just getting up from a night out, uh, uh, checking out the streets. We went out to dinner last night to a place called Perea Tavern and um, had a few things. We had a starter meal with uh, some fava, some tzatziki, a uh, eggplant dip, a uh, feta, spicy feta cheese dip. Everyone raves about the fava here in Santorini. Maybe it was just that place, but not gonna lie, it was nothing special or I wasn't a fan of it. It was very bland. Like I said, maybe it was the place. So we're gonna give it another try at another restaurant later today. I'll give you an update on that one. Um, we also grabbed the moussaka uh, with our meal. It was really good. Little under season. Restaurant was okay. It was one of the cheaper places to get a meal. It didn't have the, the caldera view, but it had a view of the other side of the island. Um, it was okay. It was, you know, if you're trying to save some money, it's not the, the best place to go. It's not the worst place to go. It's right in the middle. Some stuff were a little under season. We also had a couple uh, fritters, uh, tomato fritters, by the way, really good. Like the tomato fritters, they were awesome. Uh, the, we had, those are like matzo sticks almost. Uh, those cheese croquettes. Che cheese croquettes. They were cheesy. They were good. They were probably my favorite of that place. The tzatziki was a little watery, but it still tasted good. I've noticed a lot of tzatzikis here on the island are very similar, so it's got me suspicious. Maybe in a couple of nicer restaurants they, they might make it, but I could be wrong. We're gonna head over to Ia there now and uh, do a little hike from uh, Fair to Ia. I'll do give you guys a couple of shots on the way, show you what it's like, and uh, we'll see you over in Ia. All right, foodies, we made it to Ia from our little hike this morning from... There is so much noise going on in Ia right now. There's tourists everywhere. We're tourists, so... But everyone's on motorcycles and uh, ATVs over here. Um, so we made our hike from uh, Fair to Ia. It took us about two hours, about 10 kilometers. Nice little hike in the morning. I highly suggest if you want to do that hike, do it in the morning. The sun just beats down on you and it's not fun. Unfortunately, we got up early enough. We left around 8 o'clock, made it here by 10, so... So we made it to a bakery. Um, I don't know, it just says bakery on it. It's just on the back side of the, the main strip, which is marble walkway. Really pretty. Um, so we got a ham and cheese pie and a 
chicken pie. So we're gonna have these for a little breakfast since we never ate anything before we left. Let's give these guys a little try. Uh, let's go with the ham and cheese. <laughs> ham, cheese, and tomato. I was trying to break it in half for Shannon. All right, here we go. So it's ham, cheese, and tomato. It's almost like a pizza. It's like pizza pie, like a little pizza pocket. I like it. All right, our chicken. So what's in this one, Shannon? Just chicken. Oh, it said chicken pie. Chicken pie. So I'm not sure what's in this one. Really good. There's some spices in there. I can't give a point what they are. That's a good pie. It's one of the better pies I've had there. It's almost like a pot pie. Um, seasoned with not sure of the spices, but they're really good. All right, guys, we'll see you back in Sharon. Hey, foodies. All right, we got back from Ia, so we decided to take a little lunch walk. So we uh, headed down to one of the smaller towns outside of the Caldera area, you know, the touristy area. And we found a place called Miraki. Miraki? Yeah. Miraki, Miraki on the way down um, just to check out another pita place. And they had fava and tomato fritters and we were like, let's give it another try. So we made an impromptu stop there and what did we discover? Fava's not bad. Fava is actually really good. So this one was heated and seasoned really well and it was really, really good. I liked it. And the fritters were probably the best fritters we had yet on this trip. The, their tomato That's fritters. Tomato I was saying that. <laughs> they were the best tomato fritters we had on this trip. Um, they were crispy, light, airy, there's a lot of bikes here, so, um, you might, I mean, you might, uh, not hear me over here now and then. They were crispy and light, uh, they were really good, they were priced really well, so this restaurant, Miraki, was priced extremely well, pretty on par with the rest of, like, Greece, not the high, high prices you would see on the Caldera walk for Santorini, we were paying probably $20 for an appetizer, um, I don't know about you, I am I think the better traditional food is going to be back from the tourist area. So what I got from going through there uh, and eating the food in the Caldera area, it's okay food for tourists, but if you really are traveling for food like I am, go see the views in the Caldera and then head into the back where the small little town is and grab some real good Greek food. Um, yeah, so we're going to head over to a place called Grill House, Grill House and try out a Euro there on my little Euro trip going up through uh, Greece. So we'll see you guys there. We just got a pita wrap from the grill house in Santorini. Now, if you want to go look this up on Google, you're not going to find it because there's apparently two here, but only one exists. It's actually in the location of the Vulcan Grill House. There should be another one somewhere over here, but it doesn't exist. I guess someone put it in the address wrong and never got it. Nonetheless, Euro 250 for this wrap in uh, Santorini, which to me, if you went to the Caldera area, they're like eight dollars for this exact same thing and this is probably going to taste better this one's got some tomatoes onions fries and pork gyro wrapped up all nicely so let's give it a little bite and we'll try mm. that's good let's grab a little fry here that's tzatziki for the price in santorini this is extremely good it's full of veggies meat Eat season pretty well. I think I'll have another one of these later. Let's give another bite. <gasps> Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> Don't litter, kids. Always pick up your garbage. This beautiful area. Mmm. Juicy. I'm eating a lot of Europe's on this trip. In the end, I'm gonna find out which one is best. And so far, I'm not sure. What's up foodies? We're on our balcony tonight. We decided to have an easy night and do some takeout. We decided to order out from Falafel Land. It has, it's a vegetarian vegan uh, restaurant. You can sit in, you can take out. We wanted to come up and enjoy this beautiful view of our balcony. So Santorini has one of those beautiful sunsets. We want to take advantage of that. So we decided, you know, let's just eat up on the balcony, look at the caldera, watch the sunset and eat some great food. We decided to go a little bit lighter tonight and not eat so much meat as we've been doing for the last, I don't know, two weeks. So we're gonna go with a falafel Greek platter, which comes with uh, pita chips, 
Greek salad, falafel. We got the fries extra because I like, you know, fries it dipping into my tzatziki. They're really good fries too. Seasoned really well with uh, oregano and spices. Look at this. Look at that. They're really crunchy on the outside, like super crunchy on the outside, and really moist on the inside. So let's get some tzatziki. Mm. They are so good. So this box with everything in it, plus the fries, you're looking at 11.50 euro, which is a really good deal for the amount of food because me and Shane are going to share this. So while we were in the traditional village, we decided to, hey, let's grab dessert while we're here because we've seen a really nice bakery. Can't remember the name of the bakery, sorry. We'll do a little search for you and put it in the link in the description. But we decided to get an orange cake. It smells so good. Like, it's probably one that, it's the, it, it smells like fresh oranges. Like, that's what it smells like. I can't wait to dig into that. I'm excited for that. Um, but overall, this meal with the, the the Greek salad, which has a ton, I mean, a ton of feta and onions in that bite. Falafel land is great for vegans or vegetarians. Um, they have both options, so if you don't do cheese or anything like that. They have a butter-free baklava, which makes it vegan, which is really good. Different options for the vegans. I like cheese and I like meat. So anyone, my vegetarians out there, there is option here for you. Mm. I love Greek salad. One of my favorite things when I come to Greece is that the tomatoes, and all the vegetables actually, the tomatoes here are nothing like we get back in Canada. The ones in Canada, they're good. You get organic in season, they're okay. But these, every single bite's like, nice. And we have someone up watching saying you couldn't agree with me. Tomatoes here, vegetables here, fruit here, they all just have so much flavor in them. Like, they're sweet. So I eat a lot more veggies when I'm here, a lot more. But, and I mean, I eat a lot of veggies back home, but when I'm in Greece, I eat more fresh vegetables. So with that said, we're gonna enjoy the rest of this meal, enjoy our beautiful dessert, our cake, and we're gonna enjoy that sunset go down in, a couple, in an hour here. And that'll be it for us tonight, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.